Picture this. Two university students. One is stressed out, counting pennies, while the other is relaxed, enjoying a social event. What's the difference? It's all about budgeting. Now before you roll your eyes and declare that budgeting is as fun as watching paint dry, hear me out. We've all been there, right? The I'm so broke I can't even afford ramen stage. It's a rite of passage, but does it have to be? Imagine being able to afford that concert ticket or that road trip without breaking your piggy bank. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But this isn't about magic tricks or wishful thinking, it's about understanding the ins and outs of budgeting. We'll be diving into the common pitfalls, the I wish I knew then nuggets of wisdom, and how to avoid that dreaded end of the month crunch. So, stay tuned for some wish I knew then advice on budgeting at university. Freshman year. The freedom, the fun, and oh, the financial fumbles. It's a time when you're at the helm of your own ship, but often you find yourself sailing in choppy budgeting waters. So, let's talk about some common mistakes that turn your financial voyage into a Titanic-like disaster. First up, the classic underestimation of expenses. You've got your tuition and housing sorted, but what about those hidden costs? Textbooks that cost more than a small island, food that's not part of your meal plan, and let's not forget the siren call of entertainment. These are the icebergs lurking beneath your financial ship's surface. Next on our list, impulse spending. Ah, the thrill of that shiny new gadget, or the allure of that trendy coffee shop everyone hangs out at. But remember, every treat yourself moment is a torpedo aimed straight at your budget. And speaking of food, let's talk about your cooking skills, or rather, the lack thereof. We all love a good takeout but relying solely on eating out is like setting fire to your wallet. It's fun until you're left with nothing but a pile of charred bills. Lastly, ignorance of financial resources. Scholarships, grants, student loans, these are your lifeboats in the sea of college expenses. But they're no good if you don't know they exist, right? So there you have it. The four horsemen of the financial apocalypse. Underestimating expenses, impulse spending, cooking skills, and ignorance of financial resources. Sounds familiar? Don't worry, there's a way to navigate through this. In the next scene we'll share some wisdom from those who've been there, done that, and survived to tell the tale. Stay tuned, and if these tips are coming in handy for you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more university survival guides lined up for you. Listen up folks, here's some wisdom from the Been There Done That crew, let's dive into the nitty gritty of budgeting tips tailor made for you, the university student. First up, track everything, and we mean everything. From that morning latte to the late night pizza parties, every penny counts. There are plenty of budgeting apps out there that can help you keep tabs on your income and expenses. Or if you're old school, a simple spreadsheet can do the trick. The key is consistency. Make a habit of recording your spendings and earnings and you'll never be caught off guard by your bank balance again. Next, set realistic goals. We're not talking about saving up to buy a private island here. Start with something small, like saving up for a textbook or a weekend trip. These little victories will keep you motivated and help you see the benefits of budgeting. Third, embrace frugal fun. Believe it or not, you don't have to break the bank to have a good time in college. There are tons of free or low-cost entertainment options available. Check out campus events, hit the library for a movie night, or have a picnic in the park. Your wallet will thank you. And hey, you might even impress your friends with your creativity. Now let's talk about food. Yes, we all love to eat out, but those meals can add up quickly. Enter the magic of meal prep. Learning basic cooking skills and planning your meals in advance can save you a ton of money. Plus, it's a great way to impress your date with your culinary skills. Remember, a penny saved on takeout is a penny earned. And last but not least, explore your financial aid options. Scholarships, grants, and student loan options can significantly lighten your financial burden. Don't leave any stone unturned. Do your research, apply early, and maximize your financial resources. So, to sum it up, Budgeting in college is all about being mindful of your spending, setting achievable goals, finding cost-effective entertainment, mastering the art of meal prep, and taking full advantage of available financial aid. It might seem daunting at first, but remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Practice makes perfect and before you know it, you'll be a budgeting pro, navigating your university years with ease and confidence. And who knows, you might even find yourself enjoying the process. After all, there's something satisfying about taking control of your finances and watching your savings grow. So, grab your calculators, download a budgeting app, and get ready to conquer your college budget. You've got this. There you go, your survival guide to budgeting at university. But wait, there's more. Budgeting is just the tip of the iceberg. We've covered the basics of budgeting, but let's dive deeper into the sea of smart financial habits. Think about it. 
You're not just surviving college, you're preparing for life beyond those hallowed halls. And it starts with understanding your magical plastic friend, the credit card. Credit cards are like cookies, a little bit can be good, but too much can land you in a world of trouble. These shiny cards come with an interest rate and if you're not careful you could end up in an endless cycle of debt. So, use them wisely, pay off your balance each month, and say no to unnecessary debt. Now, let's talk about saving. Yes, I know, saving in college sounds as likely as acing that final exam without studying. But it's possible. Start small. A few bucks here, a few bucks there, it all adds up. This little stash can be your emergency fund for those uh-oh moments. Next on our list is opening a student bank account. It's like stepping into the adult world without the scary bits. These accounts often come with benefits like no minimum balance, free checks, and sometimes a free pass on those pesky ATM fees. And lastly, let's talk about something we often avoid, communication about finances. Discussing money matters with your family can feel as comfortable as walking on hot coals, but it's important. Clear the air about financial expectations and who knows, you might even get a little extra support. Remember, the habits you develop now will shape your financial future. So, start building those smart financial habits today. Don't just be a student of your university, be a student of life. Because when it comes to your finances, knowledge isn't just power, it's freedom. And who doesn't want a little more freedom in their life? Now let's talk about the long game. Budgeting for your future self. You see, budgeting is not just about the here and now. It's about building a strong financial foundation that can support you in the years to come. Imagine this. You're sitting in your cozy apartment, sipping on a steaming cup of coffee, and smiling at your bank statement. No debt to stress over, no bills that make you cringe, just pure financial peace. That's the magic of budgeting done right in your university years. Let's start with the big one, financial security. By keeping track of your income and expenses and making sensible decisions about how you spend your money, you're building a cushion to fall back on. No more panicking when an unexpected cost pops up, no more borrowing money from friends or family, you've got this. Next up, we have the development of money management skills. University is a great time to learn about personal finance. You're dealing with your own money, often for the first time and you're making decisions that can impact your financial health. By learning to budget effectively, you're equipping yourself with skills that will serve you well for the rest of your life. Lastly, let's talk about peace of mind. There's a certain tranquility that comes with knowing you're in control of your finances. No more losing sleep over how you're going to afford next semester's textbooks or whether you can treat yourself to that concert ticket. With a well-planned budget, you can focus on your studies, enjoy your college experience and still have money in the bank. With good budgeting habits, you're not just surviving university, you're setting yourself up for a financially secure future. You're taking control of your money instead of letting it control you. And that, my friends, is the true power of budgeting for your future self. So, let's wrap this up, shall we? We've taken a journey from the common freshman finance fumbles to the wisdom of those who've been there and done that. We've explored the power of good financial habits and looked into the future to see how budgeting in university sets you up for success. Remember those nuggets of wisdom, track everything, set realistic goals, embrace frugal fun, master the magic of meal prep, and don't forget to explore financial aid. And beyond budgeting, be cautious with credit cards, start saving, open a student bank account, and be open about your finances. So, now it's your turn. Put these tips into action. And hey, if you've got your own budgeting hacks, don't keep them to yourself, share them in the comments below. Remember, budgeting is a journey, not a destination. Take control of your finances, enjoy your college experience, and remember, your future self will thank you. And before we sign off, do remember to hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more paths to financial freedom. We're here to help you navigate your financial journey.